Sasabog ba ang phone mo kapag ginamit mo habang nagcha-charge? E eh kung ginamit mo yung laptop charger tapos yung phone ang charge mo? These are some of the tech myths that we will be tackling in this episode of Unboxing Tech Myths. Hey guys, my name is Avram and today we'll be busting myths about your phone specifically regarding its battery and charging. So, let's start off with the first one. Nakakasira ba gumamit ng fast charger? Madaming bagong technologies with fast charging nowadays. Dati, masaya tayo with 18 watts of charging. Ngayon, may 120, may 150, may 200 watts charging. Yung iba natatakot dito dahil baka masira ang battery dito. Ang totoo, both the battery and charger have tech that have improved in ways na masusukat kung nakapag-fully charge na ang battery. Kaya din siya tinatawag na smartphone nowadays kasi para may intelligent quality sila na nakikipag-usap ang phone mo sa charger. So it happens in two phases. The first one actually is it charges your phone to around 80% as fast as it can, as much as it can. Tapos the second phase is it slowly trickles down yung charge until ma-reach na niya yung full battery capacity. Because the technology of fast charging isn't consistent all the way through. Again, may dalawang phases yan. That leads us to our second question. Masama ba gamitin yung phone habang charge? Madalas nga ito itanong sa amin and it really depends on how you use your phone. If ginagamit mo yung phone mo for hotspot, for social media, for browsing the web, walang problema yan. These tasks actually don't make much use of the phone's processor so hindi basta-basta iinit ang phone mo in this case. However, if gagamitin mo siya for watching videos, gaming, tasks na heavy sa processor, pwede mag-change ang temperature. In both cases, pareho sila malakas gumamit ng display at processor which leads to heat, lalo na when you are charging your phone. What's our best advice? Kapag medyo warm siya, stop watching videos or playing game and just let your phone be there and charge it as fast as it can. Wala namang masama, niiwan mo lang siya doon. Remember, masama kapag mainit yung phone mo habang nag-charge kasi heat degrades battery life and can damage other internal components. So we're talking about overheating or matagalang charge. Eh, paano kung naiwan mo yung phone mo nag-charge overnight? Nakakasira ba talaga to ng battery? Totoo ito dati when we use nickel cadmium batteries dahil sa tinatawag na memory effect. However, lithium-ion batteries and similar variations don't have the same problem. Since modern electronics know when to stop charging and when to slow down the charging. Nasabi ko na to regarding fast charging. In fact, a number of phones come with a trickle charging feature. Just like I mentioned, it will charge all the way to 80% stop and then charge once again slowly until it reaches 100%. Isipin mo na lang yung mga display units sa mga phone stores, sa mga malls, di ba halos buong araw sila nakasaksak. Kaya kahit aksidente mo na iwan nakasaksak buong araw, buong magdamag, walang effect yun sa battery mo. Ano kong term ngayon? Memory effect. Ano nga ba talaga to? Now when we talk about the NICAD, yun yung mga batteries ng mga sinuunang telepono, mga Nokia 3300. Those kinds of batteries that they use on those phones have that memory effect. Wherein, pag charge mo siya, kailangan mo talaga siya i-drain to a certain degree. If not, it will have so-called memory kung saan hanggang kailan ka lang nag-charge or nag-discharge. Eventually, it will kind of make that percent or that kind of charge your default. So, kunyari, hindi mo siya din discharge at nag-charge ka 12%. Iisipin ng battery mo na hanggang 12% lang dapat mamamatay na yung phone mo or dapat ano na siya, i-recharge mo na agad. This leads us to our next question. Kailangan mo ba i-fully discharge yung battery ng phone mo? Yung dating practice with NICAD batteries, as I mentioned, kailangan mo i-fully drain para maiwasan yung tinatawag natin memory effect or yung pag-decline ng battery capacity. Sa lithium-ion batteries and similar kinds, Baliktad siya. Masama na dinidistard siya fully dahil once umabot siya ng 0%, hindi mo siya basta-basta macha-charge. It will take several minutes, sometimes hours to charge a fully discharged battery. Masama din ito kasi it reduces the overall lifespan of the battery. Kaya ang best practice dito is kapag nasa 30 or 40% na yung battery mo, start charging it when possible. Further, pag naka-reach ka na ng mga 80, sinasabi nila, okay na siyang i-disconnect. Pero syempre, ang turo din sa akin, if you're gonna go out, you want a full charge, that's also fine. Think of it as a rubber band. Pag the more you stretch out your battery capacity or 
put it to its limits, the more it will just snap. So it's better if you want a longer battery life for your phone na mag last years on end, do it this way. Okay, so we're down to our last tech myth for this episode. So let's say, may phone ka and you wanna charge it. Hindi mo mahanap yung charger mo. So kinuha mo yung charger ng laptop mo. USB Type-C naman eh, masama ba to? Ever since phones have been using USB chargers, hindi mo dapat problemahin if hindi tugma yung charging speed ng charger mo sa kung anong kaya ng phone mo. Some people are scared na pag malakas ang charging capacity ni charger, kunyari na sa 40 watts, tas lower capacity si phone, masama ba to? No, because again, we go back to that principle. Smartphones nga tawag natin. That means they are smart enough to know how much capacity your phone can handle. In the same way, your charger also knows how much capacity your phone can handle. So in essence, nag-uusap sila. So kung gumamit ka ng laptop charger mo on your phone, it's not necessarily bad at all for your phone. How about if you use another kind of cable? This is where we exercise caution. Pero in overall, Okay naman gumamit ng kahit anong cable. Pero syempre, iwasan natin yung mga cheap cables, yung mga nakikita natin sa mga kung saan-saan lang, Divisoria or whatnot. I-avoid po natin yun. Think of it this way, Christmas lights. Ang Christmas lights, minsan, nagsushort yan. Hindi naman tayo bumibili ng kung saan-saan lang kasi alam natin may risk yun. In the same way with your chargers. We still suggest that you get from official or reputable distributors when getting your chargers. Hindi naman masakit kung mag-spend ka ng extra pesos just to get a good charger. So that's it for our very first episode here on YouTube of Unboxing Tech Myths. We actually had a blast answering some of these questions and kung meron pa kayong mga tanong kung ano yung mga usual tech myths na gusto nyo namin i-debunk, we are more than happy to do so. Share this video and subscribe. And once again, my name is Avram. See you guys in the next one.